Hi, Karma Houdini here. So, a demo dropped for the upcoming Koei Tecmo game, Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. This demo only covers Chapter 1, which is the first two missions of the game, but you can pick up where you left off and continue with your save data when the full game comes out on November 20th, 2020. While this is the second Musou, or Warriors game, with the Zelda Coat of Paint on it, this Hyrule Warriors game actually serves as a prequel to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, taking place 100 years prior to the events of that game. As such, it's really cool to get to see the Breath of the Wild version of Hyrule, but pre-apocalypse, so to speak. In this demo, you get to play as Link, Zelda, and a young Impa as they fight against Ganon's forces in order to protect Hyrule. It's great to have all these characters together and interacting on screen more, and I can't wait to see the other characters such as the four champions join the party in the full game. In a sense, this game is delivering what a lot of people felt let down by in Breath of the Wild. We're getting more cutscenes here, more interactions between the characters we heard so much about in that game, and we finally get to experience the war that shaped the Hyrule of Breath of the Wild. I'm hoping that the full game can really deliver in all these aspects and hit home. Now, with all of that background stuff out of the way, let's move on to how the actual game is, starting with the presentation. The presentation in this game is quite good, using the Breath of the Wild style character models and shaders, as well as borrowing heavily from that game for the user interface inspiration. The music in this game is great, and it's really nice to have some full-blown orchestral tracks and such for a game connected to Breath of the Wild. The game also features voice work in multiple languages, not just Japanese and English, so you can pick the dub of your preference. In terms of gameplay, the game functions similarly to the other Warriors games by Koei Tecmo. You have a light attack and heavy attack button, a dodge button, and in this game you can use ZR to use each character's unique action. You also have access to the same runic abilities of the Sheikah Slate that Link used in Breath of the Wild, as well as some basic elemental magic casting abilities. Out of the three playable characters in this demo, I probably liked playing as Impa best, but all three of them were quite fun in my opinion. And of course, there will be plenty of moves and weapon types to unlock in the full game. And speaking of unlocking moves, the way that you unlock more moves for your characters in this game is by offering materials on the world map screen, which is also where you select your missions to play, unlock shops where you can buy items and such, craft weapons, and learn recipes. Overall, the gameplay is what you'd expect from a Musou game, but with enough Zelda and Breath of the Wild flavor to make it a little special. They even included the ability to perform flurry attacks after perfect dodging an enemy, of course, if you really don't like the Warriors style of gameplay, I wouldn't recommend getting the full game. If you're just curious though, the demo's free, so try it out and then make your decision. My only real complaint about this game based on the demo is the unstable frame rate. Yeah, I realize a lot of Warriors games have that issue, but it is still something I wanted to mention. The game never completely tanks its performance or anything, but the frame rate's choppiness was immediately noticeable to me. It kinda makes you wish there were a stronger version of the Switch. Well, anyway, that about covers my impressions of the Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity demo. I'm pretty sure I'll be getting the game at launch, but how about you? Comment down below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. Thanks.